Have you ever had difficulty finding your way around? I guess most of you have. The Nobel Prize last year was won for the discovery of cells in our brain that act like an internal GPS. That study found that an internal map of the environment is needed for recognizing and remembering our environment. I propose that visual memory is also important, something that Google must have noticed when deciding to include a street view in their maps. We, as urban planners and architects, mostly ignore visual memory when we design a place. We are adding more signage to our cities to make wayfinding easier. But in fact, we are overloading our cities with information, which could make wayfinding more complicated. It wasn't until I realized that, as an urban designer, I have the power to change our cities for good and make wayfinding easier. So in my PhD, I'm helping to understand the importance of visual memory in wayfinding design. Do we experience the same route differently when traveling by bus or car? When you are driving a car, you are act an active traveler because you yourself find your way. But when you are a passenger on a bus, you are a passive traveler. I designed an experiment to compare visual memory in active and passive travelers. I use an eye tracker to monitor participants' eye movements. My results show active travelers were more accurate than passive travelers, and their memory performances increased because they were directly involved in wayfinding tasks. I also discovered that eye movement patterns differed for passive travelers and that certain building elements were more salient in their visual memory. For instance, details at a street level were more salient in their visual memory. I found which visual features stay longer in wayfinders when navigating. This is a novel finding that can enrich design guidelines and ultimately make our cities better places to live. Thank you. Thank you.